Welcome to our session on Office Lens, your pocket scanning application. Here I'm using it on an iPad. Office Lens can import images that you've already taken from your photos. So here I took a picture of a page of text I want to use before, but it hasn't cropped it quite, quite right. I click on the crop button and now use the handles in the center to adjust the size proportionally, or I can grab the corners to change the skew of the crop. Once I get it just how I like, I hit done. There. Now I'm going to save it as a PDF into my OneDrive. So I choose PDF and I give it a title, in this case, South America. I choose my OneDrive and it transfers. I can hit the three ellipses in the bottom right corner and verify it's been sent to my OneDrive. Let's just go into OneDrive now. And let's look inside our Office Lens folder. Office Lens creates a folder automatically. There's our PDF, labeled South America, and that's what we were looking for. Let's use Office Lens to scan something else into a Word document. I choose Document from the Photo Settings and then click the Photo button. It takes a picture, and then I use the crop handles to resize and get my crop skewed just right. Now I give it a title and I click on Word document. I can tap the three ellipses and confirm, yep, it's gone into my Office Lens folder in OneDrive. Let's just go to my OneDrive app and just verify it's there. And there it is, South American climate. In some cases when the text is really clear, Office Lens can scan and use OCR or optical character recognition and turn it into editable text, meaning you can change the text of what you've edited by scanning it in Office Lens and saving it as a Word document. Now let's use Office Lens to scan something into our OneNote notebook. Hmm, this one needs to be rotated. I'll click the Rotate button next to the Crop button, and once I get it facing the right way, I'll adjust the crop handles to make sure that the, the skew on my picture makes it for a good looking scan. Now I hit done. I'm going to give it a title and then choose a location in my OneNote notebooks. I tap location and I'm presented with all the different OneNote notebooks I use. I have quite a few. You probably only have a couple. I'm going to save this one into my Division 2 notebook, put it in the content library, and put it in my Social Studies lessons. Then I hit Save. Let's open up OneNote and just verify that my scan in fact went in. Here I am in Social Studies, my African Geography resource, ready to be distributed to my students or ready for my lesson. OneDrive also has Office Lens capabilities. When you click on the camera icon in your OneDrive app, you can take a photo of something in your book and then turn it into a PDF that you save in OneDrive. I'm going to need to crop this. Now I give it a title and hit the check mark in the upper right corner. And now I've created a PDF by shooting it directly into my OneDrive. For more information, please check out our Continuity of Learning website. And thanks for watching.